Well, I got a little breaking news. What's that? Poos. Atlanta is trading DeJounte Murray to the Pelicans. Whoa! That's awesome. That is a I love that. Wait, for who? Did they say we don't know yet? We don't know yet. I assume Brandon Ingram. Wow. What a honestly, a little bit of a hit to Jalen Johnson, I think. Wait, that's great though. That is great for New Orleans. Cause that, I mean, they really needed somebody like that. Um, and if if DeJounte can mirror the three-point shot that he had this year, that is a really good pickup. And I, kind of, I, I I agree with uh No Dizel on this. What did no? Oh, you're sharing it. I for, I hate that there's a little bit of a delay. Wow, Very that funny. is. Um, do we think? Yeah, I agree with you, Jeb. I like don't hate that Atlanta. If they got Ingram, and do you think it's Ingram and something, or do you think it's all right? Like, so let me let me do some quick cap math in my yeah. Head. Let's go, DeJounte, Ray Man. What do you got? <laughs> Dejounte makes I think thirty five million. Bi makes like twenty nine. They probably need to to add another six or seven. So Zeke Naji, yeah, no Bi and Zeke Naji. You mean Naji Marshall? Naji Marshall, sorry, yeah, 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 yeah that, yeah. Wow. Um, let me <laughs> see if this updates. Larry Nance Jr. and two first. Wow. Wait, Larry. So there. Wait, was it Okongu in this deal? It's just Larry Nance and two first. No, it that math doesn't work though. I bet you Okongu or Nance is in, I mean Okongu or Capella is in this deal. I mean, the only reason why I said BI is no. I thought that that the math would work that way. Wow. <laughs> so oh man, I honestly I like this even more for New Orleans. What a man, David Griffin working some voodoo magic. I mean, I don't, I don't hate it for Atlanta though. I think Atlanta getting two first back isn't the worst thing in the world. I don't, I don't think that's bad. But this, this, the Pelicans have. I wonder what year the firsts are. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they're a little bit down the road. They also have so, some. So like, like maybe, maybe like maybe, maybe like twenty nine and thirty one. Yeah. So that you can bet on Zion, maybe not like moving on by then. Yeah, but the Pelicans. <laughs> The Pelicans are going to have to. I mean, think about their roster right now. They lost Jonas Valanciunas. I know their late first round pick. They drafted a big guy, but he's. I mean, he's not going to be able to start for them. Oh, the guy Eves Missy. So they're going to have to. Well, no, they they don't have cap space, common man. But they are still going to trade Brandon Ingram. Like this, I I think I think they'll. Pelicans still... are trading a 2025 first via the Lakers. Yeah, and a I'm... least favorable Milwaukee Pelicans 2027. First round pick, Larry Nance Jr. and more. Yeah. All right. So Dyson Daniels is in that deal as well. Is that happening? Per I mean, that's sneaks, baby. It has wow. to be more. The math doesn't work. Yeah. That Lakers first pick. That I like that Lakers first round pick from next year more than the other one. So wait on the Lakers pick, where do you think that ends up? Do you think that ends up like 15, 16, something like that? Yeah. You think they end up like just outside of lottery, still yeah. like an eight to somewhere. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Somewhere between eight to 10. Yeah. Um, wow. New Orleans is sending Dyson Daniels to Atlanta as well. Wow. Um, Larry Nance. Wow. So I, now I want to know what they're going to, they still have no center. I got really excited that Ingram was going to be in this deal and Okongu was coming back. I thought so they I, were... I, I'm going to pull up the trade machine right now, real quick. Yeah, I... share screen. Actually, well, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna refill refill my beverage cart here uh, for a second. Atlanta... Jeff, you say zero chance. I I don't know what Atlanta's doing right now, man. I'll be right back. Yeah, no worries. Let me pull this up and I'll share screen in a second, guys. All righty then. I'm going to use a Spo Track one because I like that a little bit more. It's not perfect, but it is a way to do this. Um, Trade machine. All right. So Larry Nance makes 11.2. Guys, you can see this, right? Okay, cool. Uh, so they said 
New Orleans is having Dyson Daniels as well. Okay. DeJounte makes 25. I thought he made more. But... No, because, well, no, because remember when it, once he got extended, they were like, this actually ended up being somewhat of a somewhat of a good deal. So. A friendly deal. Yeah. So, man, I, I'm so lost at what their next move is now. Like, do you think they are with getting DeJounte? Are they all of a sudden like, hey, we're going to. We're, we're going to rethink this now. We're hanging on. So the so the Hawks are going to be a uh, hard cap to the second apron by doing it once the trade is complete. Um, who else is New Orleans dealing? I guess is the question. Ain't, oh, like in this trade? Yeah. What? What? Oh, you already added Dyson Daniels. So how much more money do they need to make up? Twenty million. I mean, the only thing that makes sense is we go over to the Pelican side of the roster. I mean, unless there's a third team involved, who else is, is in this yeah. deal? Like, so on the active roster, you have Zion, BI, CJ, DeJounte. Wow. I, I'm so lost here. Also, if you are, uh, if you just join the room, if you're new to the playback room, do me a favor and uh, just join it. Be a part of the room if you're a visitor, so you can get involved. Uh, I, I want to know who else is in this deal because this doesn't make sense. Uh, Consigliere said Joe Val sign and trade. That would be hilarious if they grabbed Larry Nance, uh, Jonas Valanciunas. Wait, did you add Larry? N Why is I added Larry Nance in? Hold on. So you have the well, Atlanta Hawks acquiring DeJounte Murray. Do you need to flip that? Uh, it should, it should have, I mean, you know what? I'm going to use the other, I'm going to use the ESPN trade machine because it is not processing in the way that I want it to. Yeah. Cause it, it like already showed one of the players on the other team. Yeah. yeah no worries. We'll, we'll do it the other way. What are, are the chances? The Pels was, no, they're not, they're not doing that Joker rock. They're, I, they're very happy with Zion. They can't after what they saw like, Ingram is for Ingram and CJ are for sure the next two. I also don't even hate keeping CJ at this point because now he gets to actually play the two instead of their point guard, you know? So I, I think that fit makes a little bit more sense. And like DeJounte showed that he could shoot a little bit. So when they do go point Zion, and I know DeJounte is not like the lockdown defender we thought he was when he was in San Antonio, but it's definitely a defensive upgrade. But they, I mean, they have no big men. Like, if you look at their roster with Larry Nance going, they have zero bigs left. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. Sorry, guys. I'm, we're working on the fly here, and we're not being perfect on this. Um, so this is what it looks like. So Nance and Daniels add up to $17 million. Um, Dyson Daniels is, or sorry, DeJounte is 25 So we'll, we'll try the trade and see if it works. Yeah, it's over by three point seven. I don't know how this is working. So three. So there's probably one more, but I originally we were saying it was over by like twenty. So yeah, I know. So three, um, it could just be like, wait, what are the are the picks worth anything? Like, does the first no? Right? Yeah, the, the 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 picks have like designated numbers to them, so the picks may may just have because if it's two a, firsts, it might get it. Yeah, there. they they may, or they, or they could throw in someone like Garrison Matthews or something like that to make the math work. Yeah. Um, wow. Yeah. Crazy. So um, now I, well, it's so funny because I mean, like we all did this right when the trade happened, we all said, okay, Brandon Ingram is involved. And if they're still moving Brandon Ingram, are they, I thought that I thought they would use Brandon Ingram to go get themselves a guard like DeJounte Murray. So now I don't know. I'm trying to think of the bigs they could like put a deal together for. And no, Bruno Fernando does not make sense, Super Carl. Um, I want. I feel like Super Carl is looking at his so rare collection. He's like, "What Hawks do I have right now?" Uh, right. Could. Oh, you mean to make the deal work? I'm sorry. I take that back. Um, could. What about Brandon Ingram to Minnesota? For Cat? Yeah. So you would have Cat. 
and Cat Zion, Zion. Dejounte. Uh, I mean, like, listen, dude, they're gonna have to score 135 points. And they can't defend a lick. But Hershey okay. said, "I wouldn't do that." What side would you not do that for? I mean, I their think contracts the minutes, have I, somewhat close, right? Well, it's just yeah, the, the contracts are somewhat close, and I think the interesting thing from Minnesota perspective, particularly because they because of who they just drafted, I don't think they would do that. Yeah. I think they they would view Rob Dillingham as like a lower cost Brandon Ingram. All right, what about Brandon Ingram for Paul George? <laughs> I mean, if you're New Orleans, that's a win win. Yeah. And if um, you're if you're the Clippers, you're not mad because you're at least getting a younger a, Paul, a younger Paul George. Paul George, yes, right? Um, oh, Drew NFTV, winner, winner, chicken dinner, both of you guys. Oh, super call was in it. Ingram for Aiton. Dude, can you get the vibes, the chemistry vibes of Zion and Don DeAndre Aiton at the 5-4? <laughs> I mean, dominating in New Orleans. Uh, oh. Look, look you, you, you know, you know, it would really suck. Actually, you know who would be super excited about it? Every restaurant in New Orleans. <laughs> yeah, Deandre, I, Deandre. I, I did repurpose the joke in the way that I wanted to say it. Um, yeah, that would be that would be kind of crazy. Um, Shit, goon for Ingram too is kind of interesting. That would actually reach new levels of laziness. Jeb says. <laughs> That would be Dragon Ball Z fused together into the ultimate slob. Oh, that's good. Also, it would reach Dragon Ball Z levels of passive aggressiveness yeah. between the two of them. So, all right. I They probably don't do DeAndre, although it does make sense. The Paul George one, I am kind of intrigued by. And then I, because I'm, I don't know what their cap space is going to look like, but are they a team that could throw Hartenstein money? Like, do they have the flexibility to offer him? Because that's you know the kind what? of Let's big. Let's, 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 let's just throw up the trade. Let's let's do some Bill Simmons level trade machine shit right yeah. now. And let's just go. Let's have fun. All right. So we want to do a little Atlanta action. We'll do some Clippers action. I like to say LA and LA Lakers because they have to differentiate. Right. Um, ooh, you can't even put him in a deal. Oh, because that's of the that's annoying. Yeah. Um, well, let's assume he's going to make 40 million a year in his new deal. See that the problem is it's not perfect because we can't figure out what the number would be. Right. Um, let me check Fanspo because Fanspo has a trade machine that, that may not have Paul George's unavailable. Hold on. So the Pels don't really have cap space, do they? Because no. I, I, I was thinking Hartenstein would make a ton of sense there. Um, Just like a, that's the type of big, or like somebody like Zubac even. But I mean, Zubac. Let me see if, if Fanspo allows me to, to include him in a deal. Um, let us see. Clippers. All right. Woj just tweeted New Orleans is 0 and 24. When trailing, entering the fourth, and two and fourteen in close games, and see Murray as a player who can generate offense late. Pels remain committed to the core that includes Zion and CJ. Pels are trying to find common didn't, ground. Didn't say anything about Brandon Ingram. Well, the Pels are like trying that. to find common ground with Brandon Ingram contract. All right, so we can put Paul George in a deal. So that's fun. Um, and. Let's see. We don't want to do it, Linda. We want to do uh so we were talking Clippers and who else do we want to do this deal with? So Paul Paul George with, with New Orleans, right? Yeah, with Ingram. Sorry. So many different deals. Yeah. All right. So Ingram traded the Clippers. Oh, that's weird. I can't. You're we just see the trade. We see the ESP. Oh, you shared the ESPN one. Oh, my bad. No, no, that's okay. I thought I was having a stroke. There we go. Uh, so the numbers are are the so they would be about twelve million short right now. So the On Pelicans, uh, the Pelicans, uh, Ingram makes thirty six. Paul George oh. makes forty eight point seven. All right, ready. 
No one's going to like this, but Ingram and Herb Jones for Paul George. Uh, how about this? That this, this actually makes life. Um, also, you're Herb still Jones, the no, I, I, don't, I don't love that. You're still sharing um, the ESPN one. I don't know if you know that. It's, it's, it's sharing the ESPN one? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you, it's the same screen. <laughs> I, I'm doing. It should just be sharing. <laughs> Unless I'm, is my is mine messed up or are you guys seeing ESPN too? So to Hershey's to... saying that you think the Clippers would want Hawkins. All right, I mean, yeah, I I would much rather them not. It was still showing ESPN on Twitter because I was I was clicking on Spotrack. I had the whole trade pulled up. Wow, it's fine, whatever. Playback being weird. Uh, Does actually, increase just... Murray's best ball value? Um, yeah, it's pretty close. I uh. I think so a little bit. I mean, he they are still going to be playing with CJ, but Trey is such a ball-dominant player, and the Pels are able to move it around a little bit more. I feel like what we'll see is his overall offensive like usage go down a little bit, but I bet we see him shoot like 40% from three. I think he's going to get a lot of easy looks because yeah. he's really like the – Zion's going to be the first option. I guess he's the second – I mean, if Ingram's still there – I think I like it more, Jeb, if Ingram is gone. If Ingram is still there, I don't like that offensive flow. I don't think it would be a bad well, thing. Well, you also have to – you have CJ too. Right. That's what I mean. But if if Ingram goes, I, I like it a little bit more. I don't know. I, I, I still think there's deals to be made with Ingram. And maybe they do with CJ. Like, maybe you just go super young. Well, they just said they're they're committed to him. I, I don't. You you calling him a liar, dude? <laughs> I'm not calling him a liar. I just I like I don't understand the thought process. Like CJ's a, a great player, but he's 33, 34. Right. Like you can probably get similar production, and Dejounte can take on a lot of that day day to day. Yeah. I don't know. All right. Let's see. I think I got it now. So yeah, see if we can pull it up. It's fine. Can you see it? I yeah. can. Although it's very blurry. There we go. Better. All right. So we have Ingram on one side. So it's all right. You who did you said you had a better option? What was the option? If there aren't a whole lot, I mean, you can go. Let's see. So it's uh because Herb Jones is like basically there. Larry, Nance that's a whole lot. That's, that's a whole lot of faith you put you placed in Trey Murphy. I love Trey on, Murphy. On the back. What you're getting, Paul George. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's probably what you'd have to do. Ingram and Herb Jones. Oh my God, George. it's off by two hundred thousand. That's it. so I can't. That do works. It. No, that works. It says players cannot be aggregated in a trade. What does that mean? Oh, because they're a second every team before the trade. Uh, uh, uh. So I. So they what? I don't understand. What do I need to do? Technically, it gets it, it gets a little weird because we're right before the start of the new league year, so the yeah. numbers haven't gone up. So, right now we're operating on a league year of twenty three, twenty four, rather than twenty four, twenty five. All right, so that's the reason why. Um, I, yeah, I, it, I I kind of like that for, I kind of like that for the clip. I like that better than fucking Kaminga and whatever. Kaminga, Chris Paul, and picks. Yeah. Yeah, because Herb Jones can immediately contribute. Yeah. Man, that's a spicy one. I did not expect that. I, I just didn't see it coming. I like I knew DeJounte was on the block. And the Hawks had kind of said like the Trey Young um conversations had been kind of cold. Yeah. So maybe they just made the the, the move. They were like, we're gonna do this now before free agency starts. And as cap space starts to dry up, we'll be able to trade Trey somewhere in the next two weeks. Yeah. Well, Rishishe now has an actual path. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, yeah, I don't love it for Atlanta, like, for real. I mean, I know they had to hit the reset button a, a little bit. Um, but, man, yeah, no no Trey lobs to Wemby, which, listen, nobody – I don't think we really wanted that. I really didn't want Trey Young with Wemby. I'm not a I'm not a Trey Young truther. I don't think. Wow. Why well, I I still think Trey is <laughs> gonna get dealt. 
Um, oh, you think so? Before the, like this season? I think I think Trey could get dealt in the next two or three weeks. Yeah. Like, it 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 doesn't really make sense to keep him on that roster given how young they're trying to go. Right. And you want to give Reese as your number one pick the most leeway to be successful. And the way to do that is to hand the keys over to him. Trey Young wants 35% usage, as he's always gotten. Right. Man. DeJounte went from a, went from a hot <laughs> to a Pelicans to – sorry, Terrible. I had to. Terrible. You know she signed with a, a talent agency? Yeah, I did. I did see that. I Again, I still can't believe I fucking – I still haven't been <laughs> – and I still don't have a talent agent yet. Yet Hawk to a lady got one. Hawk to, Hawk to a lady <laughs> signed with UTA in a, in three days. Did I read? I read she got fired from her job. What? From she's a teacher. Yeah, that would make a teacher in the South no less. Oh, that was a fake story. That was a fake story. Uh, well, I, her dad is a pastor allegedly, right? That is a a true part of the story. I think. I mean, that's the first thing that's made sense, though. Um, well, it's, it's, it's part of the reason why she, uh, like disappeared and deleted all her social. Yeah. I mean, if, if you became an internet meme for three days straight, would you fully embrace it? Or would you just be like, I am. Well, I'm leaving. a guy. I think it's a little bit easier for me to embrace it. I'm a guy. Cause people are going to be like, Oh, I fucked the shit. Out. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not, <laughs> that's not what's happening. But when a woman goes viral, everybody's like. They hawk two of their hand. So right. it's yeah, it's terrible. Uh, did I see yeah, I saw the Euler girl got a Playboy. Yeah, I did see that one. I mean, I didn't see this shoot, but I saw that I saw that that happened. Ocean spray dude to Fleet Fleetwood Mac and Brace it. <laughs> Insert <laughs> wood meme. I, I feel like Je- Jeb's already been a meme to an extent. That's right. With the uh, bear suit. The yeah. only thing that makes me mad about the bear suit is that ESPN went to him mid while I was eating <laughs> two years ago at Summer League. That was not a great look for me. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Very disappointing. Yeah. I, I kind of agree with, uh, with, uh, Bond temps here. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but, uh, he said, I kind of like the value that they got out of DeJounte just because how clear it was that they were going to trade him. And that you still got two, you got a young Dyson Daniels, who I think people are still high on Dyson Daniels, right? Um, yeah. And then you got two firsts, one being the Lakers, which will, I, again, I think be a decent, like mid lottery one. Um, I don't know. I kind of like it. Josh Richardson picking up his player option. <laughs> no shit. Shocking. Like, I was I, is he on the Spurs million? still? What team is he on? Miami. Oh yeah, there you go. Hashtag eat culture, baby. Put the words on the floor. <laughs> hey, by the way, did you see the uh, the Jimmy thing this uh, yesterday that came out? Oh, uh, the the complex sports video. Yeah, I yeah. like it. I think the Miami Heat fans should show up on time. Ah, uh, the Tatum stopper, right? Yeah, hey Stan, you you know who also stops scoring the games? The Heat or Heat fans early in games, according to Jimmy Butler, your guy. Yeah, Stan, they, they just show don't up. show up. And I know that's not Stan. Stan's always early. Stan's here early. He's here on time. Got to get to the game on time. Though. Put the white white linen on and get to, to the... To be fair to Heat fans, it is like the shitty thing about getting to their stadium is there was only one way in and one way out. Yeah. And, and I'm not talking about the amount of cocaine that Heat fans have to do <laughs> uh, before going to games. Um, but yeah, it's just, it, it's a nightmare to get there. Uh, so I understand why it can take a little while, but also show up to your games early. Yeah. Well, it, that the traffic didn't just start. Like, you know, right? they, you know, it's coming. Get, leave yeah, early. Like, well, the problem is you get off your work day at five. It can take like an hour and a half to get there. Weisberg, if you want to deep throat Heat fans, keep it up. I'm trying to give us an out to make fun of them. Well, I'm, trying, I'm, trying if, to be, I'm, if, I'm trying to be nice. If you're a good employee, nice. you stay until 5.15. You have to account for traffic. <laughs> the heat, heat culture is a fraud. <laughs> Go early and barely alive. Or barely arrive. Hmm. Is, I said Landry Fields was... No, no, I think that was a good... It's Hershey. I don't think they got fleeced. I think the, I think the fa- NBA Twitter loves any time a trade happens... To shout out LL Bean and scream fleece. Like that, and like no matter what the trade, 
could be as fair as can be. They were like, fleeced. They got fleeced. People were saying it about the I they say it was a joke, but they the Raptors fans were going wild about that Jalen McDaniels trade yesterday. I was like, come on, guys. Uh our guy Steve Jones uh talking about this trade, I think is the right context. Yeah. 78 replies with DeJounte Murray can't play defense. <laughs> and I would once again point to context scheme, responsibility in New Orleans versus Atlanta based on things he showed on the defense end. I also, I think his size and activity can help the Pelicans. Yes, on all of those. Yeah. Like that, like DeJounte in, in the Atlanta context was really bad defensively because they didn't have very many good defensive players. The same way that we talk about uh, Mikael Bridges joining New York, people are like, well, he wasn't great defensively in Brooklyn. Yeah, because he was the only good defender on Brooklyn. You played with Cam Thomas. Mm. Okay. Yeah, it's true. You played with Cam Thomas and Cam Johnson. Ne- neither of those cams can defend at a high That's level. True. It is a so great. When you, oh, sorry. Go so ahead. when you get into different de- defensive context, like he's going to be a better defender because he's playing with better defenders. Yeah, I love uh, Super Carl's point. How many points does Lucas score now? <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Sorry, Jay Blaze. It was it was an easy pot chat. That's good. Good stuff. I don't know which cam you're talking about, whether it's Thomas or Johnson, but I, I guess both applies, I guess, but whatever. Man, wild. Wild end of the day. I love this. This is fun. This weekend's going to be fun. We might end up having more streams because of this. Um, if we get some more insanity here the rest of the weekend, we might get some more. But I did that happen right before we gave away the Maxi Kleber? Right before. I think I closed it out. Oh no, I still have it. All right, let's give away this Maxi Kleber. Uh, and then we'll uh we'll wrap here because I think we we covered that unless we get another Woj bomb. Uh all right, real quick. If I don't ra- uh excuse me, rattle your name off, put your name in the chat. Unless you were who just won? Oh, Drew NFTV. You you can't be in this one. All right, here we go. This is interesting, by the way. Hold, what? On Wiggins. Rowan Barrett said that Wiggins was clear and ready to go for camp, but they got a call from the Warriors a few days ago say they're holding him out. Wow. The team can hold him out of international play? For medical reasons, sure. Wow. But that, They said yeah. they claimed it was a mutual decision between Wiggins and the yeah, Warriors. He's getting but traded. Team Canada is like, nope. It's getting traded. All right, here we go. <laughs> we got DJ Chander. We got Chief. Jeb Bush, Weisberg, K. Pre, Matic Auto, Common Man, Ricky, Ronner, Reese is still here. Stan Loves, Boston Base, Joker Rock, Red Wolf, Maddie Harrison, Consiglieri, Zeely, Sneeps, Jay Blaze, Super Carl, Biggest. I think I don't have its Hershey in there. I got to get its Hershey back in there. Uh, Top Shot Tesla, I'm missing. Uh, we anybody? Uh, no. Oh, you want me to leave you off, man? What the fuck, dude? Take it. Your... Oh no, this you sent me this card. That's right. Top Shot Tesla. Do I got everybody else? This is for the German Maxi Kleber limited tier card. We're spinning it right here, right now. Let me make sure I didn't miss anything on YouTube. All right, here we go. Who's getting it? Yeah, it is a Tom John Settlement spin. Ooh, Ronner? is it Ricky? I don't even know who it is. Ronner, let's go, Ronner. All right, Ron. I, your, uh, I, I had friends hit me up about the Top Shot settlement, by the way. Really? Yeah. P- people who, who got in around the same time I did in February, and I was like, guys, you're not even going to qualify because this thing ends in, like, January of 21. It's hilarious. I love it. I love it. Common, so, man. That, that two, two maps have been given away. I mean, to be fair, your team gave away an entire series, so it's fine. No, no. I, I'd go the other way. I'll go the other way. That's nicer, Common, man. Three Mavs were given away today. Tim Hardaway Jr. He was also given away. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right. CJ to Brooklyn for all expiring, including Ben Simmons. Come on, come on, come on. Um, is Ronner still here? Ronner says you're still here. All right, just shoot me. You can do it after. Just tag me, and I'll, uh, I'll get you that one. Weisberg, Shame thanks for jumping on, man. Oh, go ahead. What are you going to say? Oh, Shave from the World Champs Day is what we did. That's right. That's right. Thanks for jumping on. Appreciate uh Everybody for hanging out. This ended up being a wild one. We go with a little two hours and 15 minutes for you. 
Um, I imagine if we get some more action, because tomorrow we'll find out a little bit more. And then Sunday, what did free agency start at four? What time does that start at? Do we know? Uh, let me, uh, let me, let me should be 1 p.m., I think. But I don't Let's have see. it off the top of my head. Starts at 6 p.m. Eastern. Oh, wait, June 30th at 6 p.m. Eastern. All right, so I'll do a stream Sunday night. We'll be out here Sunday night for some free agency. We, we know the deals through. are going to be in, announced literally at at six, like six oh one, right? Yep. Yeah. So so yeah, we'll come back and uh, we'll hang out and and do La that. last thing, Mike, before we go, yeah. any quickie predictions on who you think gets a deal at six oh one? Uh. Nope. You're not back. How about now? Am I back now? You're back now. All right. Sorry. My mic cut out. Um, who gets a deal at 601? I don't even know. I, I got a hot one for you. What's your hot one? Clay. Oh, you think the Clay deal's already done? Where do you the think? Remote, remote Shelburne went on local radio here yesterday and straight up was like, yeah, Clay's. She didn't say like Clay definitely has something in place, but she was like, Something will happen with play pretty quickly. I like so, the Denver rumors. Well, the Denver rumors would require a mid-level exception. So that's not happening. Yeah. I, I think like he gets that. like, tw I think he gets a big deal from Orlando or Philly at the start of. Free yeah. Agency. My guess is I'm going to throw two years, 50 million. Maybe a team option for a third year at the same number. Do you think he goes to Orlando just because it'll be quieter there and he can still have his boat? He enjoys living in Tiburon too much. And I, I think he's going to, I think Orlando makes sense outside of the boat. Like, I don't, yeah. I don't think boating matters as much as. Yeah, I don't really like, need the boat. I know. I know. I'm, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> he, he, so, so, like, the funny thing about it is he really, really loves being in the Bay. Yeah. He does have, he does have a house in LA. And he has his house here in Tiburon, but yeah. But oh, hold on, we're talking about Orlando or Philly, so uh, well, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm simply, I'm simply noting like his preference would be to stay in California. So okay. The Lakers are always going to be a, a possibility. That but they're said, not going to give him fifty million over. No, two they're years. not. I, I, I think Orlando is the best spot. Although if Philly comes up and says, you know what, we will give you more money than anyone else. Yeah. Because who's Philly going to take with the, the the amount of money they have? Right. No, no. I, I agree with you. If, I agree. If they you. strike out on Paul George, Clay Thompson's their best bet. Tobias Harris, baby. Get ready. <laughs> Tobias is going, going over to Detroit for, uh, you know, a little vet min action. All there right? we go. Uh, let's end it with this. Here we go. A tweet from J. King. Uh, if the Pelicans aren't uh, – wait, what did he say? Uh, don't know if the Pels are done dealing, but pretty sure you couldn't dream up a worse fit than DeJounte, CJ, Ingram, and Zion. I, I – like this deal so much if Ingram goes. If Ingram stays, I do hate this. He's gonna go. Yeah, Ingram's got to be dealt. I just don't know where. Cat, send him to Cat, baby. I, I send love him to it. Portland. I, I like that Aiden construction. Yeah, Aiden is. I they would need one more. Show. Well, they Trey Murphy's out there. And they one might say that Aiden and Zion would eat. They would anyway. eat. I'm sure they would eat. I'm sure they would eat. All right, dudes, we'll call it there. Mike, uh, thanks for jumping <laughs> on for the second half. Appreciate everyone hanging out. We'll uh, we'll be back Sunday evening unless some weird stuff happens later tonight or tomorrow. We out of here. Have a good weekend, y'all.